friend of mine on, on Facebook shared a link with me to M Manhara, I believe this is called. And, uh, oh, no, Manharo. Manharo Linux. And so I figured I'd download this and give it a try. And uh, we'll do that after I roll the intro. Okay, a friend of mine on Facebook sent me a link to this Linux distribution and apparently he wanted me to check this out. Now, uh, to my surprise, it's telling me that uh, this, uh, that Manjaro Linux is based on Arch. Cool deal. You know, I tried to install Arch and I had some difficulty with it and it wasn't until after three tries I, I found out later on that uh, Arch's um, installers were broken. <laughs> and so this is refreshing to see that we have a Linux distribution here that I can check out and it's based on uh, Arch Linux. Great. As a matter of fact, I've always wanted to try it because uh, it's my understanding that it's a perfect operating system that you can build and you can pretty much decide uh, what you uh, want to do with it, much like Pinguy OS here. Um, so let's have a look here and see what we got. We've got a lot of um, drives here I'm showing here. And this is possibly because whoever developed this had a bunch of hard drives set up or whatnot, and uh, we don't have that here. But let's have a look here and uh, get an idea of, okay, this is using XFCE as its window manager. Okay, cool beans. Not bad, and it looks like we have a little docky here on the side, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me see if it uh, tells me here what this panel is. Let's see what in the about. Okay, this is the F, uh, XFCE 4 panel. Okay, cool. All right, and we have a clipboard viewer down here. Uh, we have a logout dialog. Uh, battery powers, fully charged volume, internet connectivity, the time, and then two uh, desktops that we can switch. Let's see how the um, let's see how things are laid out here in the file manager. Okay, this kind of looks cool. All right, pretty standard. And it's always good to have a lightweight distribution as well. You know, especially if you're running an older computer. You have a run command dialog, a terminal, terminal emulator, the file manager, which is this, a mail reader, web browser. Then we can go into settings, standard settings that would be uh, used. Uh, let's have a look in appearance and see what kind of things we can do with this. Oh, nice! I like this already. It even comes with the dark theme that you can use. Now, my question is, can we use Compiz with this? I also like this up here. It looks like a uh, monitor. Let me see if it uh, gives me any information by right-clicking or left-clicking on it. Mm, nothing. Okay, but pretty cool nonetheless. So I'll just leave the simple dark. I like that. I've never seen an XFCE distribution that provided a nice dark theme. Okay, so we'll close this. Yeah, this looks kind of cool. Now, if this had comp is, ooh, yes. Let me see what kind of options we have for uh, changing our desktop. From the desktop settings here. Ah, and we have a number of backgrounds that we can choose from. Very nice. Since I'm using a dark theme, let's go with, I don't know, hmm. I think I'm feeling this one down here the most. Yeah, okay, I'll go with that. 
definitely go with that. Okay, we have some options for the me menus and the uh, windows. Okay, and then we have icons as well. Okay, very nice. Close that. Okay, and then standard settings here as we were uh, discussing. We have software updates. Let's see what kind of package management system it's using. I'm assuming it uses the same one that Arch does, and the name of it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, we'll get to that later, I suppose. Okay, and then we have accessories here. Ah, we have the Thuner File Manager. Let's have a look at that. Okay, maybe that's not what I was thinking. I want to have a look at the software repositories and see what we have. Bracero, bulk rename, disk utility. It has G edit on it. Okay. So it has some things here. Maybe it's in the settings menu. Appearance desktop file manager, notifications, orange preferences, settings editor, window manager. Okay, apparently this must do this all from the command line, uh, from what I have seen in uh, Arch, but we have uh, a system menu down here as well. Okay, we have Brazero, Excel, Genome, M Player, Pulse Audio Volume Control, uh, a test utility, and a sound converter. We have a uh, SSH, uh, uh, we have a uh, Secure Shell Server Browser. BNC Server Browser, Firefox and Thunderbird, Office, you get Abbey Word, very nice, uh, very nice word program, a dictionary, PDF viewer, new metric, orange calendar, and orange global time. And then in systems, let's see what we have here. Add or remove software. Now that's what I'm talking about here. So we will uh, look at that here in a moment. Okay. Okay, and it looks like we have some packages that we can choose from. A KDE desktop. Hmm. Nothing there. Other desktops. XFCE. Okay, this looks like applications that are already pre-installed. Okay. Um, how about games? Any games that we can install? Okay. I know that Arch uses I think can't remember what it's called, but I imagine that if you're going to install anything on this, it all has to be done from the command line, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. But for the most part, this looks like a nice operating system. Uh, I just wish it had a package manager that would allow me to easily uh, search for packages and install them. But you know what? I have to give this a little bit of try and tinker with it. Uh, myself. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, well, thanks for sharing this link with me. Um, this looks like something I might play with in my free time. If you thought this video was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, uh, catch me on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.